On this day in working class history, the 9th of April. On the 9th of April 1946, Palestinian Arab and Jewish workers at the Tel Aviv post office walked out on strike. The next day, they were joined by postal workers all across Palestine in what would soon develop into a general strike of blue and white collar public sector workers. In response to the postal workers' strike, employers quickly made far reaching concessions, which the Histadrut, the Jewish Union Federation, recommended employees accept. However, rank and file postal workers voted to reject the offer and continue the strike. On the 14th of April, Arab and Jewish railway workers joined the strike, paralysing the country's rail system. Middle and lower level white collar government workers also joined the strike, so that, by the 15th of April, 23,000 workers were on strike across the country. It also seemed that oil workers would join the strike, but this was opposed by the Histadrut on the basis that it would harm the broader Zionist project. Despite this, by the end of April, workers had won a number of concessions. Bigger wages, cost of living adjustments, and improvements to the pension system. Arab and Jewish communists declared the strike, quote, a blow against the divide and rule policy of imperialism and a slap in the face of those who hold chauvinist ideologies and propagate national division, end quote. However, the strike would prove to be a one-off as worker solidarity gave way to ethnic cleansing and the Nakba. For sources, maps, and all of our anniversaries each day, check out the On This Day section of our Stories app at stories.workingclasshistory.com. And if you value our work, support us at patreon.com slash workingclasshistory. Links in the show notes. Theme music by Ricardo Areo. See you tomorrow.